Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. Cancer, it's your turn. We're doing your reading for August. This is going to be a love reading. I already completed you guys this overall forecast for the month along with the mini love reading involved in that. Those videos are like 40 minutes each. So if you haven't looked at them, please go check them out. They're all uploaded. I'm looking a hot mess. Yeah, it's the ones where I got my hair in the bun looking crazy. But, you know, there I did what I had to do to get them up there. Um, I couldn't finish everybody's reading last night. So if I look different, and some of the readings that I posted for, I think there was three signs that I posted for Capricorn, Leo, and Aries, I think. And I got on a blue dress, but that was last night. These are the same readings from then, but it's just the next day. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I was so exhausted last night, I couldn't finish them, so. All right, Cancer, this is what we're doing for you today. This is going to be a strictly love reading. I'm going to start off with the single Cancers. And see what we guys what we have for you guys. See if there's anybody coming in for you. Or see what else what emotions you're still dealing with from the past, possibly. If anybody's coming back for you or anything like that. Then we're gonna move on to the couple spread. I'm gonna get your energy on this side, your person's energy on this side. So bear with me. I think I am going to just use one deck this time to clarify. I'm going to use one deck for both energies and then one deck to clarify both sides. I've been getting a lot of double energy with the couples for all the readings. It's like they're getting the same cards over here. They're getting the same cards. It's crazy. I'm like, how is this happening like this? It's weird. I mean, literally the same cards. I'm like, even showing up in the same position. I'm like, whoa. But I guess it makes sense, especially if um, I'm doing this reading for Cancers and it's you guys' energy, but you're, I'm also picking up on your person's energy, but I'm also probably still picking up on your energy double time, too. Because it's kind of like they're, they're mirroring each other here, but it's like, yeah, if you feel this way, then it's going to possibly be showing up in this person's energy, too. So that's what I'm trying to say long-windedly. All right, let's see what we have for Cancer, single Cancers. What are they going through? Spirit guides, three parts. All right. Thank you. This one came out first. Two of Wands, Judgment. Ooh, and the higher, the higher form, which is the Faith card in this deck. Judgment. And the Two of Wands. My poor beat up cards. All my cards look beat up. These are not that old. I think I've had these for like um, uh, six months now. But they all got water spilled on them one time. So that's why they look a little worn too. My oldest deck I have is four years old. Going on five. Let me try that again. This is going to be for Cancer's person. Or no, 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 no. Let's finish Cancer's energy because we don't even know. This is single Cancer. We don't even know if Cancer has a person. All right. So you you are choosing a path here. You're making a judgment call here. You're trying to have faith on what to do here. You might be calling on a higher source or asking somebody that you trust, the confidant, an older person, somebody who's been through what you've been through, a best friend, uh, somebody you're asking for help to make a decision here. And this could be you trying to decide whether or not to go back to a situation or to move forward to a new situation. But there's some type of feelings or emotions that you have become aware of here. And now you have a choice to make. Show me the two of wands. Ooh. Just like that, it came out. Five of cups and three of swords. Damn. <laughs> I don't even know. The Five of Cups is in reverse, though. But the Three of Swords is still upright. So there is something you're no longer wanting to hold on to here. Pain from the past. Like, you're not crying about the situation anymore. But you're still hurt very badly about it. But you're making a choice here. Let me judgment. King of Cups. I told you, there's some deep feelings, Cancer, that you're, you're realizing or you're becoming aware of here. This is what's causing you to have to make a decision. You're trying to choose which way to go at this point. Show me the face card. The Queen of Cups. Oh my God. The Queen and King of Cups right next to each other. Clarifying judgment in the higher font. Ain't that amazing? 
Ain't that fucking amazing? Oh my god. So this is why judgment is being here because you're you're realizing there's some type of connection here, the strong pull that you're having towards this person. You want to walk away. You're letting you're letting the past be the past. You're letting bygones be bygones here with the five of cups in reverse. And I don't normally take reversals, but because it came out with this card just like this, I left it just like this. So yeah, you are you're wanting to let that go and move forward. You're still hurt by it, but you're not holding on to it. You're releasing it. But something in your soul, I feel like with this judgment card is telling you that you need to revisit the situation. So that's why you have two paths to choose from here. I love it. Show me the king of cups. The hangman. Yeah, you're stuck. You're needing to make a decision here. You're stuck or this person's stuck. Somebody's stuck. But you're trying, you're getting a new perspective. You're trying to see things in a different light. It's like, okay, I know what happened. I know this person hurt me. I know that I'm still hurt. I don't want to hold on to these feelings anymore. I'm not going to cry over this shit anymore. That's for sure. But I can't get over the fact that I still love this person. And you do still love this person. And they still love you. Queen of coins. But you want something stable, something more committed, something long term. You want that happy family life. Show, show me the three of swords. Oh, the magician. I feel like with the magician being here with the three of swords, I feel like you're trying to um, convince yourself or manipulate your energy. Which is why the five of cups is probably in reverse is because you're trying to you're telling yourself here like I'm not still hurt by this. I'm not still holding on to this. It's showing the five of cups that you're releasing it, but the three of cups in the upright is showing that you still have pain, residual pain from the situation. And the magician is like you're trying to like push it down. You're trying to manipulate the situation or the scene or your appearance or your feelings to make yourself and others believe that you're not hurt by this situation, but it's clear that you are. The love. You could have a choice in lovers. You that the, there's two paths here to choose from. You could have a choice in lovers, or you could just be making a choice about this particular person. This is your soulmate, Cancer. I don't know how many times I have to fucking say this to y'all, but this is your soulmate. Like this person is your everything, and this is not for every Cancer. This this is for the single Cancers though. And it's not for all of you guys either. This is somebody who is in a, looks like a on and off type of situation here. Show me the queen of coins. The strength card. Yeah, you've endured a lot in this connection and you're trying to figure out, is this shit still worth it? Is this shit still worth it? Should you be just single and by yourself or should you re- evaluate this connection that you had with somebody because you did have a really strong connection with somebody and this is in the recent past i'm feeling because if this was long ago i don't know how you still hurt behind this shit all right show me what's coming in for cancer single cancers eight of cups why am i doing this i'm gonna just keep using this like Knight of Cups. I was supposed to be clarifying with a different deck. Okay, so somebody who walked away looks like they're coming back to make a romantic offer or gesture towards you. Yes, they're coming <laughs> quickly. So they got the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. I haven't been showing these cards, but I, yeah, I did. I think I did. And the Eight of Wands. Something has been set into motion. They're doing something that, you know, can't be undone now. This is, man. They might have watched you walk away here and now they're coming to chase you. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like there's a cat and mouse game here with you guys too. Let me use this. What else is coming in for cancers? Eight 
of swords. This person could be feeling guilty. This person could uh, be trying to figure out how they're going to actually execute this and make it work. They could be feeling guilty about walking away. They're all in their head about it. They're stuck. They're like, why did I do this? Why did I just leave? Why did I walk away from the situation? Show me the Knight of Cups. Oh. They also have the Five of Cups. You see what I mean? Like, you guys are mirroring each other. Like, this has been going on in all the readings. Like, what is that? Like, what? Somebody help me. Okay, yeah. They feel guilty because they were being fucking sneaky. They were lying. They were being deceptive. But they're coming to try to make it right now. What were they lying about? What was the deception? A hermit. They were lying about being on their own, being single, doing some soul searching, trying to fix themselves, getting right. Show me the five of cups. They're still holding on. You aren't holding on, but you're still hurt. The page of pentacles. Yeah, they're coming. They're, they might be wanting to offer you a higher level of commitment here, something tangible. They're trying to learn what it takes to please you. Sorry. I have somebody trying to call me. That was 11-11. I just saw two of my niece calling me. She want me to do her a tarot reading. I'm like, girl, I'm tired of doing readings for you. <laughs> All team love. <laughs> the tower. So yeah, you walking away from this person got you all messed up and caught up in your feelings and emotions and your thoughts. And it also caused you a tower, or not you, your person, a tower moment. So there, I'm, I'm acting well, cross crosswatcher, whoever you was is still watching this video. Yeah, I was talking to you. I was talking to you because I straight looked up and was talking like this was y'all. So sorry, cancers. This is y'all over here. This is your person over here. But cross watcher, I was talking to you. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Somebody lied. You were lying. The, the cross watcher, you were lying. Sorry, that's what I see here. See some deception over here. But you're coming to try to make things right. You are lying about being by yourself. The chariot. There could have been something else you were lying about too. Something about a vehicle or travel or something. You might have been lying about traveling by yourself or driving with somebody else. I don't know what that's about, but you're definitely trying to move forward past this energy. Show me the tower. The will of fortune. Yeah, you want things to turn around in your favor. You want another opportunity to make things right and rebuild here. Also the lovers. Lovers and lovers. So, yeah. All right. What is this person's next moves? I already see what this person's next moves is. Their next moves is to try to reunite here. They're coming full fledged towards you, Cancer, singles, your person. I also feel like they are in isolation right now by themselves. So if they lied about it in the past, they're not lying about it anymore. They're doing the work. All right. Let me get the advice for cancers. For cancers next move. Oh, you guys got the wheel of fortune too. That's so crazy. Do you guys see this shit? Like I'm not making this up. I don't even know how this is happening like this. This is so weird. I mean, what are the chances? of me doing a reading and there's 78 79 cards in this deck i took the four palace cards out and 78 cards in this deck and y'all are getting the same cards like that's crazy to me maybe i'm over exaggerating i don't know the ace of swords so over here your next move is to be by yourself. Like, you're looking to be stable and single on your own, Cancer. Like, you ain't trying to fucking uh, participate in no bullshit. You got everything you need by yourself. Things are turning in your favor. But you do want some type of truth and clarity on what this situation was and what it could be. All right, let me see what this person's doing. What's this person's next move? Next move. Ooh. This person.
person wants a happy family, happy life, and they're not going to be satisfied until they get that. But I don't think that this was being offered to them. They got the Ten of Swords. I feel like they might have already tried to come back, Cancer, and you might have already said no. And that broke them down because they want their family. They want a family. They want a happy home. They want a marriage, kids, family. But what they got offered, they wasn't satisfied with it. And it actually kind of tore them the fuck down. Like, that broke them down here. Whew. Let me get y'all some romance angels. And then we're going to move on to the couples. Couple cancer. So if you are not looking to be in a relationship and you are not in a relationship, you guys can go ahead and click off. I really appreciate you sticking around this far. If you are looking to be with somebody or wanting to know what's coming for, up for you in the future, this couple's reading could resonate for you for the future. Trust. There was no trust in this situation. I already saw that. You trying to find guidance though, Cancer. Past life relationship. What the fuck did I tell y'all? Did I show y'all this trust? Past life relationship. What else? This person is a soulmate. You guys have a soul contract with each other. Honeymoon. Oh shit, Cancer, what? I don't know. This person might end up trying to come back. Call it in your soulmate. What the fuck did I say? I'm too good. Retreat. Yeah, you guys might end up going away together. Taking a honeymoon. That's what I'm seeing here. This is your soulmate. This is a past life relationship. Man, I can't make it up. I already saw it though. With the king and queen of cups. Y'all just going through some things right now. God. All this is, this is crazy. Break up to make up and that's all y'all do i swear first you love me then you hate me <laughs> that's not how that song goes i was way off tune but i already told y'all i can't sing so i don't know why y'all expect anything else what, what else you expect i definitely can't sing in that high pitch of a voice that that dude did all right, that's what I have for you singles. Let's go ahead and move into you couples. Can't serious. And if you're not single, well, if you are single and don't care about being a couple and you just want to know about life in general, go check out your overall August energy forecast that I already uploaded a week ago. All right. Let's see what we have for Libras, or not Libras, Cancers, <laughs> that are coupled up here. Show me the energy for Cancers in a relationship, a situationship, separated, booty call, um, friends with benefit, whatever y'all in. Let's see what we have for your person. Cancer's person. Well. I just heard voodoo. <laughs> when I seen the, magi ma the magician, that was the first thing that came in my mind. It was like, this person, uh, they trying to put it in your food. <laughs> that Kevin Gates song. Uh, what was he saying? She was trying to hit him with a woo, trying to catch him. She was trying to put it in his food, trying to trap him. Maybe underneath the full moonlight of passion, <laughs> making him fall deeply in love from attraction. Yeah. Love spell, that's what he was saying up in there. Mm. Okay, so Six of Pentacles, the Fool, and Knight of Wands on you guys' side. Six of Pentacles, pull it up close. The Fool, taking a new journey, starting a new path. Knight of Wands. 
the Knight of Wands energy is definitely some player ish energy here and then the fool is somebody taking a leap of faith to start something new the six of pentacles is um being able to give back to somebody or give equally to somebody reciprocity is the word that comes to mind when i see the six of pentacles especially when it's dealing with the relationship so there's something going on here where somebody wants to start something new that's more reciprocal then your person has the magician the three of swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling like this person got their feelings hurt by trying to manipulate a situation for something to turn out in their favor for the long haul. Uh, let's clarify. Now with this deck. Pentacles for Cancer. You guys got the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. And Six of Wands, Victory. I'm hearing somebody got away with something scot-free with this Knight of Wands. Ooh, the Ten of Swords popped out with the page of pentacles and the knight of swords in reverse yeah somebody got away with something sky free and they ain't never gonna tell their secrets ah. eight of wands the empress oh it might not have been sky free Justice. Ooh. So you got the Eight of Wands, the Empress, and the Justice card. All right, let's see what your person has. I don't even know why I'm doing this like this. The Fool, just like you. This is so crazy. The high priestess. Oh, so you think this person doesn't know, but they do know. The ace of cups. The four of wands. But they don't care. The three of swords, you guys. They got the three of swords twice. And then the five of swords. Ooh, we. Okay, so what I'm getting is that cancer. It looks like you might have tried to get away with something over here and you might have gotten away with it because it's not out in the open yet. There was some type of great opportunity, some type of risk that you took here and could have been outside of this relationship and you didn't get caught. So you got away, you you got to be single and independent here and you know follow your passions a little bit. I don't know if that was with the third party situation or not. It looks like it was because this person's feelings was really hurt and it's, both of these are between the high priestess is between both of these heartbreaks here the three of swords so this person does intuitively know what you did um but you're feeling like you got away sky free from whatever it was that you did that you knew you weren't supposed to do i don't know how severe it was because this person still wants to be with you this person still wants marriage and long-term stability with you this person still wants to take a chance on you but I also see that this person has selfish motivation behind this too. Like they're, they just, they want to have you just so somebody else doesn't have you or some shit like that. That's what I'm getting. So it's like, they know what you did. They're just probably not saying nothing about it because they want to have you still. They still want to be with you. Like it's not worth them exposing what you did. Cause as long as they have you, that's all that matters. They see a long life with you. They want marriage with you. They see this progressing towards something whew, higher. I'm out of breath. From just sitting here, that's weird. I don't know what that was. Hmm. Oh, 
let me clarify with this one. Show me the justice card. The chariot. Yeah, you feel like you got away. You got two victories here. You feel like you're just you got justice in the situation, or you're not gonna get justice in the situation. You already won. That's what well show me this Empress. The Queen of Cups. Hmm. Show me that either. Yeah, you got you got what you wanted. You did what you wanted to do. That's for sure. Show me the three of swords. Yeah, this person knows what you did. They're really hurt by it. They cry about this. Show me the five of swords. Who <laughs> the high priestess again? This person could be psychic or very, very intuitive here. Because they got the high priestess twice. I'm also feeling like they got something planned for your ass. They they're gonna um they're gonna get some type of get back here. They're gonna win in no matter what. That's what I'm getting here with the five of swords. But they wanna marry you, they wanna be with you. Show me the magician. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this person has manifested this from the past. It's like they've wanted you for a very long time. Did I say Six of Pentacles? That was the Six of Cups. They wanted you for a really long time. They want to rekindle things. They want to keep restart things. They want to take a chance with you. They want to renew this. They want longevity with you. Show me the fool. Yeah, you you are really worried about this risk that you took here. Um, show me the Knight of Wands. What was the risk? I'm here. You spent the night somewhere. Somebody spent the night away from home. And they came up with a real good excuse. You was with somebody that was fine. That was super soca sexy. Okay. You were acting single and independent. Flaunting money. Cancer. What the fuck? Ooh, I just saw the uh, Five of Swords, too. All um, for you. I'm feeling like, though, that your secret ain't going to be safe for long over here with this Empress. I'm really getting that there could be some type of pregnancy here. Or somebody's going to be worried about somebody to get pregnant. With their little one night escapade. I'm also getting that somebody used an excuse about their mom. As to why they got away with this. Hmm. Show me this three of swords. Where are we at? Yeah, this person knows the truth already. So, Cancer, you ain't get away with nothing. This person just ain't saying shit because they want you. They want they want to have you by any means necessary. So, yeah. It looks like they're going to have you by any means necessary. Let me see what the cards, the romance angels say, and I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out. So, if you're watching to see if this person knows your secret, they don't. Day. Are they leaving you? No, they want to marry you still. Are they going to find out? I mean, they already know. Is it going to come out in the open? Probably not. I don't see that it is. Because you got a victory twice here. So probably you got away with that one. Very soon. Oh, you might not have got away with that one. Very soon. Very soon. This person's going to come back once some more. Trying to fuck up your situation. Passion. Oh, God. Very soon. Your passions that you have with that Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is usually the mistress of the tarot. It's safe for you to love. This person still loves you. Like, it, they want you still. Even though I feel like intuitively they know you stepped out on them. They know it. 
and I'm reading, you guys can put yourselves anywhere you want to, but I was reading this as the Cancer energy, and I was reading this as Cancer's person's energy, so if your person is the one who stepped out on you, then you can put yourself over here or whatever. Pay attention to the red flags. This person had red flags about what happened. That's how they intuitively know. They got the high priestess twice engagement so yeah they want marriage here they they want to move forward to a higher level of commitment here they don't give a fuck all right that's what i have for you guys cancers i really hope you did get a, i don't want to say i hope you did get away with it but i hope you guys are able to heal this situation and move forward the right way honestly you know um make sure you hit that like button comment down below if this was your story uh share on your social media platforms if you feel called to um don't forget to subscribe 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 i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so i can go live so i can do live readings i also do live video chat readings if you guys um want a reading i do them on facetime face chat so yeah you don't got to worry about getting a reading in an email or nothing like that i do them face to face with you so you see what you're getting all right, that's what I have for you guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Until next time.